Hi, I am back. Okay. I have just gotten out of the shower. I have rinsed out all of my conditioner and I have did a cold final rinse to seal my cuticles back up. Now I'm going to unwrap it and get ready to put the leave-in conditioner in. A little bit of sealing butter to lock the moisture in. And then in some chunky twists and some bands to stretch it out. I won't style until tomorrow. And it'll just dry in the bands. Okay. My two princess layers. That is my hair, completely washed. It is very, very soft, very, very detangled. Let me get my towel back. This is a microfiber towel. Really so absorbs a lot of the moisture off your hair. Now That's applying a leave-in conditioner. This is going on pretty darn smooth which means my cuticle is closing up this has quite a bit of slip for my hair i am liking this this is my first time using it what is this this is the as i am leave-in conditioner it says apply to damp detangled hair and that's what i got damp detangled hair it has uh extracts of coconut Amla, sugar beetroot, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, follies, terols. I'm going to have to find out what that is. And saw pimento. But one thing I can say, it smells delicious. It smells like a tropical vacation dessert or drink. Coconut. So, okay, there you go. I love coconut smell. Especially fresh, raw, real, extra virgin, cold-pressed coconut oil. That's how you know you got something good. Because as soon as you open it, it smells like the coconut fruit or coconut, whatever it is. But it's one. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Uh, I probably put too much on, but I'm heavy-handed with product anyway. So, Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay, and what I'm going to put on there, just a little bit for tonight, and seal it up with is... You really can't see it. There you go. That is my shea butter mix. I have two different kinds. This one is my runoff jar from when I make somebody some. So it has the rosemary, sage, and eucalyptus blend in there. And then yesterday I made the peppermint and lavender blend. So I just pulled the peppermint and lavender runoff right over in there with that one. Ooh, that goes on very nice. Hmm. Tango Wrangler, my favorite detangler. Let's see how it works with this condition in my butt. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yep. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. This isn't going to take too long to do. I'm not going to do it all on camera. I'll do this one and then I'll come back and show you guys what the banding looks like and how it's going to dry. I'm quite sure you have seen it before. I'm just stretching my hair out because I think I'm going to do some type of style with flat twists and loose uh, two strand twists. It's going pretty good boo boo. I'll be done in a minute. He come check and see how the video going. So he said he working on his own YouTube channel on his own iPad. So I'm going to see what he cooking up in there in a minute. Oh yeah this is this is pretty good. Okay, now I am going to put it in chunky twists, then band it. I can stretch even more. Nothing too tight, because my hair breaks very easily. And you can see where I have some of my breakage here, because whenever you see what looks like just fuzzy hair all up and down your, your twist or whatever, that's generally breakage. So, put it closer to the root. Okay, and push, oh, there we go. And just bring it down. Now, still going, still going good? Yes, Miles, it's still going good, boo. Thank you for asking. Okay. Right, there it is. That's the bandit. I'm going to do that all over my head. I'll be back. Bye. Ooh. 
Y'all should have warned me blocking out time to do a YouTube video. It was going to be hard to do. Find a quiet spot is the hard part, but that's okay. We on the last section. I've applied the conditioner and the shea butter. Now I'm just detangling the last little section nice and easy so I don't snag out any more hair. Now I'm leaving this in overnight to stretch out. Hopefully I'll get a chance to take it loose in the morning. If not, I won't style it to Saturday evening. Because today is Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm running with errands for my brother. And I know by the time I get back it's going to be time to get stuff together to go to work on Friday. And that's going to be it. But all in all, this went pretty well. Today I recorded all of the videos in this series for a wash regimen from detangle all the way down to stretching my hair. Then I'll just do a style video when I get to it. Okay. Smooth out the edges. And this is probably going to have to be a voiceover segment down to the end curly 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 and I've been checking each twist to see how the ends are looking if I need to be dusting and no I do not they are nice and blunt no straggly extras hanging off a dear life that you need to clip away okay and when you put these on do not make them too tight at the base because they can easily snag on the finer hairs around your hairline. So, okay, I got one left. Yep. And this is the last one. So now I'll probably either put this in one of my bonnets or wrap a scarf around it to flatten it down even more, to stretch it even more in this. But these are all done. So I'm going to back there. And that is it. My hair is in banding for stretching. Look at that. Now my hair comes down about right here without the band. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel. See you on the next shot. Be blessed and bye-bye.